It's a little sad that I had to leave my country to feel safe, but that will get better eventually. Yes, welcome back. For some time now, we have not talked about this issue with Botlight. Dylan took up the decision to flee the US. I don't know if you have seen this video. According to this article, Dylan flees to Peru and complained she no longer feels safe in US. Going down the article, Dylan has fled to Peru for some much needed solo travel and soul searching after she complained she no longer feels saved. I had an issue on a video I put out two weeks ago. When I read articles, people will say, why are you calling this person he, she? This is exactly how the article put it, especially Daily Me on Fox News. This is how they now refer to Dylan. Hi, is this an okay time? Okay, surprise, I'm in Peru and I'm at Machu Picchu. Isn't this just so beautiful? Um, I'm here by myself and I used to do a ton of solo traveling. I'm telling you, it's the best. If you could ever do a solo trip somewhere, it is such a good way to get to know yourself better. Um, but I came here to feel something, you know what I mean? And I definitely have. I've done shaman ceremonies that were like 10 years worth of therapy. It was wild. Um, I've seen a lot of llamas and the people here are so kind. I feel very safe here. It's a little sad that I had to leave my country to feel safe, but that will get better eventually. And I am dying for some Trader Joe's rolled chili lime chips. But other than that, I am so content. Still haven't been kissed yet, but I'm holding out hope. And most of all, you know, this trip has just has me feeling like I'm my own best friend again. And that is the best feeling in the world. And I hope that you feel that way about yourself too. And I love ya. Okay. Bye. Machu Picchu. Wow. And I should have made this video months ago, but I didn't. And I was scared and, and I was scared of more backlash. And, and I felt personally guilty for what transpired. So I patiently waited for things to get better, but surprise, they haven't really. And, and I was waiting for the brand to reach out to me, but they never did. And for months now, I've been scared to leave my house. I have been ridiculed in public. I've been followed. And I have felt a loneliness that I wouldn't wish on anyone. And I'm not telling you this because I want your pity. I am telling you this because if this is my experience from a very privileged perspective, know that it is much, much worse for other trans people. For a company, to hire a trans person and then not publicly stand by them is worse in my opinion than not hiring a trans person at all because it gives customers permission to be as transphobic and hateful as they want. Yes, welcome back. I keep seeing myself coming back to this. Recently, Dylan break her silence on 20 billion bot light fiasco. There is a viral video going around Instagram where Dylan made it clear that Bot Light did not even bother to call after the backlight partaking to what was going on. According to this article published by the Daily Mail, Bot Light breaks silence in wake of Dylan accusing the company of not supporting her amid bullying and transphobia. Hi. One thing I will not tolerate people saying about me is that I don't like beer because I love beer and I always have. Um, I built my platform on being honest with you and what I'm about to tell you might sound like old news, but you know that feeling when you have something uncomfy like sitting on your chest? Well, that's how I feel right now. So this feels like the right thing to do. I took a brand deal with a company that I loved and I posted a sponsored video to my page. And it must have been a slow news week because the way that this ad got blown up, you would have thought I was like on a billboard or on a TV commercial or something major. But no, it was just an Instagram video. And the wildest part is that they also sent me one can with my face on it. You might have seen it. And funny story, I had the can around my house, but then I realized, wait, I need to protect this can. So I hid it somewhere. And now I can't find it because I hit it so well. But when I do find it, I feel like it needs to go in a museum, preferably behind bulletproof glass. And you might be thinking, Dylan, 
why bring it up now? I, I'm bringing it up because what transpired from that video was more bullying and transphobia than I could have ever imagined. And I should have made this video months ago, but I didn't. And I was scared and, and I was scared of more backlash and, and I felt personally guilty for what transpired. So I patiently waited for things to get better, but surprise, they haven't really. And, and I was waiting for the brand to reach out to me, but they never did. And for months now, I've been scared to leave my house. I have been ridiculed in public. I've been followed. And I have felt a loneliness that I wouldn't wish. After she went public with her criticism, Hausa Bush hit back in a statement to say they are committed, committed to the programs and partnerships. They are first with the LGBT plus community. The company didn't name Dylan directly, but their comment came immediately after she hit out at them for not being supportive of her and the trans community. In the statement, they said the privacy and safety of our employees and our partners is always our top priority. As we move forward, we will focus on what we do best brewing great beer for everyone and earning our place in the moment that matter to our consumers. The statement comes just days after CEO Brandon was slammed for refusing to rule out if the company will partner with Dylan again and avoided answering how much the marketing blunder had caused Bud Light. Speaking to CBS, I believe I dropped this video, a lot of people saw it. If you didn't, please check on the description or my latest upload, you will see that interview. Because it gives customers permission to be as transphobic and hateful as they want. And, and the hate doesn't end with me. It has serious and grave consequences for the rest of our community. And, and you know, we're customers too. I know a lot of trans and queer people who love beer. And I have some lesbian friends who could drink some of those haters under the table. But... To turn a blind eye and pretend everything is okay, it just isn't an option right now. And, and you might say, but Dylan, I, I don't want to get political. Babe, supporting trans people, it shouldn't be political. There should be nothing controversial or divisive about working with us. And, and I know it's possible because I've worked with some fantastic companies who care, but, but caring about the LGBTQ plus community requires a lot more than just a donation somewhere during Pride Month. And all this to say, bottom line, is that if you follow me, if I've made you smile, if you care about me, I need you to care about every trans person. And I need you to support us. And I need you to stand by us. And, and hey, it's still Pride Month. So um, I'm going to celebrate being alive. And I'm going to celebrate the trans people in my life and the ones I haven't met yet. And I'm going to celebrate the fact that no matter how many thousands of horrible messages or news anchors misgendering me or companies going silent, that I can look in the mirror and see the woman that I am and that I love being.